Hello everyone, in today's video I'm going to be setting the record straight about Natsume. Um, recently I've seen a lot of incorrect information about Natsume, Harvest Moon, and things like that, so I felt like compelled to make this video to tell you guys the truth. Um, I don't want to put any individuals on blast, so I'm just going to put these two websites on blast. <laughs> um, the first one here is IGN. It says, Japanese developer Natsume announced its newest farming sim game today titled Harvest Moon One World for the Nintendo Switch. Is this sentence correct? No, it is not. Okay, is IGN the only one making this mistake? No, here's Harvest Moon Wiki, which I love you guys. <laughs> if the person who makes this wiki watches this video, I'm sorry, but this is incorrect. Um, it says Harvest Moon One World is a game by Natsume for the Nintendo Switch and PlayStation 4. It is the fifth game to be created solely by Natsume. And again, this is incorrect. Before we dive any deeper, we first need to talk about who Natsume is. Um, because yeah, it seems like there's already, <laughs> like we've only just started and there's already huge confusion about who Natsume is. So let's break it down. Okay, Natsume is the name of two video game publishers, um, Natsume Atari and Natsume Inc. They were once the same company, but now they're completely separated. Um, they were founded in 1987 in Japan, and then the next year, 1988, they made their American division. But then, in 1995, they completely split, and now they are two completely separate companies. If you go to their website, I mean, you can see very clearly they're based out of California. Um, their CEO is Japanese, um, but yeah, they're located in America. So I'm assuming it's probably mostly like Japanese Americans or, you know, people from Japan who have immigrated into America. But Natsume, it's an American company. So this American company, they have the rights to the name Harvest Moon. Um, how did that happen? Let's take a look at this Reddit stickied post. Um, there are a few things in this post as well that are incorrect. Um, so yeah, now that you have that knowledge that I just told you, let's go back and look at this and then I'll see if you guys can pick out the minor and major flaws in this story. From 1996 to 2013, Bokujo Monogatari was translated and distributed for English-speaking audiences by Natsume under the name Harvest Moon. In 2014, Marvelous Inc. decided to have the games localized by their American publishing brand, Exceed Games. Natsume owned the rights to the name Harvest Moon, so the English name of the series was changed to Story of Seasons. The first minor error is that they say that the games were originally made by Victor, and that's actually false. The first game in the series, it was made by Amkis, um, and then the later games were made by Victor, and then later it was Marvelous, and then, you know, they changed from Marvelous Entertainment to Marvelous Inc., which I think is kind of a little bit important because, um, you know, if a company was going to try to say that they've been with the series from the beginning, it would have been easier, I think, for the Japanese developers to make that case if they had just stayed the same for all of these years. But they haven't. They've used four different names and they've changed their name three times. On top of that, the man who originally made the Harvest Moon games, his name was Yashuhiro Wada, he actually left the series in 2009. And going back to the Reddit story, the last sentence is, When Marvelous switched the localization, Natsume still owned the name Harvest Moon and decided they would start developing their own games with that title. Okay, so this is the main thing that everyone seems to get wrong. <laughs> Natsume is a publisher. They are an American company. Okay, those are two things <laughs> that a lot of people don't seem to understand. Um, yes, they're made up mostly of probably Japanese Americans and they have some Japanese staff, but it's an American company and they're focused on publishing and translating, but I'm sure they do not have a huge like video game department that has, you know, um, people who can program, people who can, you know, know game design, who can make characters, who know character design. You know, it takes a lot to make video games, especially these days. So, this is the part that a lot of people don't know of the story, but Natsume, at this point, they realize, okay, we still have the rights to the name Harvest Moon, 
but can we really make a Harvest Moon game? No, they don't have the resources and things to do that. So they went and found another company to help them make new farming sims that they could then rebrand as Harvest Moon. Originally, they found a company called Tabot, T-A-B-O-T, I believe it's pronounced Tabot. Um, and so if you play Harvest Moon Light of Hope, you'll probably see that name as you boot up the game. Because... I believe that they're probably the ones who did almost all of the development for <laughs> Light of Hope. And then Natsume, they were probably just as they always were, just in charge of the translation. Um, to make things even a little bit more complicated, in 2018, Tabit Inc., they then changed their name to AppC or AppKey. It's like A P P C I. So if you boot up Harvest Moon One World, what are you going to see? You're going to see Natsume, and then you're going to see this company's name, AppC. So yeah, that's actually the true story, is that um, I think a lot of people, they think that Natsume has been making these new Harvest Moon games and just slapping the title on there, but that's actually not the whole truth. The truth is, Natsume owns the rights to the name Harvest Moon, so they found another developer to make some farming games, and then they still translated it and put the name Harvest Moon on it. Um, and then I just wanted to end by talking a little bit about my personal feelings on the matter. Um, I know there's a lot of fans who are like hardcore anti-Natsume. They can't believe they would ever, you know, try to trick people into buying their games and all that. But for me, <laughs> I don't think it's that big of a deal. Um, the only thing that kind of annoys me is the fact that now it's like tricky when they are like um, adding games to the Nintendo Switch Online and licensing things like that. Um, that's the only thing that kind of bothers me a little bit. Um, but other than that, I mean, like, there are much better reasons to boycott um, companies, like, you know, if they use slave labor, or if they test their products on animals, or they're destroying the environment. Like, these are things that I would, I would be right there with you guys. <laughs> I would be like, no, let's boycott their products. But using a name that they created, sorry, I'm not, I'm not going to be on board with that. Um, and then there are people who, you know, they just don't like the quality drop. Um, this one, I can kind of agree with it. Um, some of the games, you know, since they started using a different developer, the quality has dropped a little bit. But um, I think you kind of have to just look at it as a new series, which is what I do. Um, I always just see it as, okay, like it's a new set of developers who are making a farming sim. So I'm just going to look at it as if it were a new farming sim series. And um, I think at the end of the day, you have to realize, like, this is a company. It's a corporation. It's not like, um, it's not like you know, the guy who created Stardew Valley. If somebody took the name Stardew Valley and they started making new games, I think that would be incorrect because it was 100% his, like, baby, you know? He made the game all by himself. So if somebody else took the name Stardew Valley and started using it, I think that would be wrong because, you know, they didn't make it. He made it. But the original creator of Harvest Moon, he left the company in 2009. His last game was Harvest Moon Animal Parade. After that game, the original creator of Harvest Moon left the company. So to me right now, it's just like, you know, the original developer is gone. And now we just have two series, the Harvest Moon series and the Story of Season series. So yeah, me personally, I don't have a bias towards Harvest Moon or Story of Seasons games. Um, if the game is good, then I'll play it and I'll enjoy it. Um, I mean, that being said, like Story of Seasons games, like they've just been objectively better. So I've obviously been spending a lot more time playing Story of Seasons games than new Harvest Moon games. But yeah, I don't feel like I have any bias one way or the other. But yeah, I'm really scared to see the comments on this video. I think some of you guys are maybe going to be in the same boat as me. And I think some of you guys, maybe you guys will be upset with this video <laughs> or you'll strongly disagree. Um, but yeah, try to be at least a little bit civil in this comment section. <laughs> um, don't forget to hit the like button. Um, don't worry if you accidentally hit the thumbs down button. You can then just move the mouse a little bit to the left and then click the uh, thumbs up button, you know, the plus button. 
Um, I noticed that some of my last videos, I think somebody made a mistake. You know, they accidentally hit that uh, down button. So yeah, just move the mouse a little bit to the left, hit that like button, and I'll see you guys next time.